Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be doing some gesture drawings. These are some of my favorite drawings. I feel like they capture so much emotion and they're so quick and easy. I also think of them as a warm up. So I'm going to be giving you three tips also for these gesture drawings. Um, I've done things like this before during the Olympics and things like that because it's a great time to draw <laughs> people doing things. Um, but today we're going to be using the images that we drew our stick figures from in the Wall Street Journal weekend edition that I just got today because they're available and there's some great images in there. So go ahead and grab some paper and a pencil and let's do this together. So grab your paper and your pencil and let's get started. So I think it's easiest for me to show you how to do this while I'm doing it. I, it's hard to explain unless you see it and there's so many ways to do this. Some people take 10 seconds, some people take five minutes to do this. Some people add really cool shading and things like that to make it look a little bit more interesting. But we are just going to be drawing fast. Draw with whatever you want. I'm using a pen, uh, just so you can see it, really. Uh, but I, I would recommend using something that you can't erase if you are someone that erases a lot. Let's get started. So think of this as a warm up, and we're trying to just lay out the form and the action that's on here. So really we just want to look way more at this than we're looking at our paper. So let's get started. So I usually start with the head just because it gives me like an, an, uh, something to compare everything to. Uh, let's, I wish I had a timer. Maybe I can put a timer on there. So I just kind of draw his head in. Line of like where his eyes are. You don't need to draw the cross right there. What I'm really trying to get is this movement. So draw, and you can start drawing it on your own. Maybe you even have this magazine, you can draw it with me. That would be so cool. Notice I'm not drawing any fingers or anything like that. I'm just trying to get these main shapes of this guy's body in here. And the folds in his clothes are so cool. They really help figure out what's going on underneath. So this leg. I can't see his foot here, but we know this one's coming out just a little bit. Okay, so pretty quick. I don't think it's, it's, there's as much movement in this area right here as there actually is in this. You know, really, if he's reaching up here with his torso, he, there needs to be some kind of more bunching up in here, in this area, but I think it's still helpful. All right, so quick drawing showing movement, gesture, trying to capture some of the main forms. I'm not drawing eyes or hair, although you could, if you wanted to just add some shadows to it, you could, you could do that. It's totally up to you. Let's try our second one together. So tip number one is to look less at your paper than you are at what you're drawing. So I, I like to just say, look up, look up, look up. Look, look at what you're drawing. I think I had two number two drawings. Okay, that's okay. Might be missing some in here. Okay, now let's draw her. She's gonna be really fun, I feel like, to draw in a gesture drawing just because she's running. And she's wearing just such a cool full skirt or dress. Let's start with her head. I'll try to draw this one a little bit bigger. She's looking down. But she is kind of facing forward, but kind of looking down. You don't need to draw that. I just, I don't know why I did that. Now I've kind of got to try to figure out what's going on under here because remember she's running towards us. Her torso's here. She has one leg that's kind of coming forward. And then one leg that's coming up. 
and back. Like the foot pace facing down. This is like stacking. And then we can kind of see part of her hand right here. And then you could draw all of this craziness that's happening with her skirt. So really quick, I wish I wouldn't have done that X in her face, but that's okay. I would love to really try to capture some of this. I mean, she is holding part of her skirt there. Luckily, this is a picture. If this was real life, it would be way faster. Really quick, I, oh, actually I'll show you at the end. Let's do the next one. The people that are doing the, um, I can't remember, the rainbow. What do you call that? <laughs> a back bend. Okay, let's draw. This, is he a, he's a chef. Let's draw this chef. Daniel Hum. Okay, here we go. So this one's gonna be really fun. So just like the other ones, I'm just gonna start with this head. And I'm just, just draw in kind of this rib cage area. And then this area here. He's kind of like getting further away from us, this leg and this whole side of his body, so. And then I'm gonna draw his arms coming right out of here and it's crossing over his head. I don't know how his hands, he must be like really good at yoga. Look at how they're bending like that. Maybe most people's can't, I don't know. I don't think I could do that. You can put some wrinkles in just to indicate and then we need to get this back leg in here. With his cool shoes kind of going away from us. Okay, now I feel like he, he is a little smashed here, but we're getting, we are getting some of this gesture, right, of this movement. <laughs> his arm might be coming just a little bit more in front of his head, but his coat is like falling off. It looks cool. All right, let's draw our last one together. And hopefully it's helpful having um, done the stick figure drawings and then now doing these drawings. And I wish this one was the full figure, but it still is a really cool one to draw. So grab your paper and your pencil and let's just get started. So really, the second tip, I keep forgetting that I was gonna, is just to be loose. Just loosen up, really. I wish her hand didn't go all the way off, but that's okay, of the page. So see, this one looks a little bit more like a contoured line drawing, <laughs> you know, just, like I was just trying to draw the edges of these shapes, but. This maybe is more of a contour line drawing. You might want to just indicate 
Um, some of the features really quickly scribbled in. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> this one looks a little bit different than my other ones. It's not, I don't usually draw dress your drawings like this. It looks a little stiff. Um, but the basic th tips are number one, think of it, look at your paper, look at your paper very little, like more, you're just looking over here and kind of just looking over at your paper to make sure you're like in the right place, basically. And then you just look at what you're drawing and think of this as a practice. Be loose is tip number two. And then tip number three is don't erase anything. Just think, think of it as a practice. Don't erase, just draw. I mean, even though this one isn't quite as gestural as I would like, um, she doesn't really look like she's moving very much. But except like just here, you know, her hips are definitely raised. But this dress is just absolutely fantastic. Um, so that is our gesture drawings. Those are our gesture drawings for today. And now what I want you to do for your homework is to draw some gesture drawings and it's kind of the same as yesterday. Draw five different gesture drawings. You could even do 10 if you want to kind of go above and beyond what is required. Gesture drawings of any person doing any kind of movement. So they just need to be doing something um, so that you can, when you do these drawings, you're showing some kind of action or movement. And I, I really love watching the Olympics for this. Ballet, so great. And you can see a lot of um, ballet images on YouTube. So you can just Google, one of my favorites is Swan Lake. And so you can also look up um, famous ballerinas and you can draw them as well. Um, you can totally do gesture drawings of animals and stuff like that too. But since we're doing a figure drawing course, that's why we're drawing figures. Um, and then tomorrow, before we go more into parts of the figure, kind of gone, gone from the whole down to the parts, I think it's important to talk about shading. I have a really good pen shading tutorial, but I feel like my pencil one is not great. Um, despite how many views it has, it, it, it could be a lot better and it's more geared towards um, elementary age kids. And so um, I'm gonna do one that's ga gauged, is that even a word? One that's a little bit more for um, just beginning, people that are just learning how to draw, but not necessarily children. So anyway, thank you so much for drawing with me today. Um, see you tomorrow for shading in, oh, actually, yeah, I do need to do it first. I was gonna do it on Friday, but we'll do it tomorrow. Um, shading in pencil, and then we're going to draw the eye, how to draw eyes, how to draw a nose, how to draw a mouth, and how to draw hair, I think. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me <laughs> at Mr. Otter Studio. Have a great day or night or morning, whatever time it is.